सो वेलकम टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड दिस इज द एपिसोड टू क्रिएट लेवल पैकेज अ कंपोजर पैकेज विच इज on our github this is the package and you can see the package has this badges this readme file having some branches having some tags all these things here and the most important part is that we can require that package on our new level project so you can see we have this one and what this package will do this package will just give you a simple contact form and don't think about the looks because it's going to be ugly one <laughs> not a problem it's just going to demonstrate you so this is the message so hi message from package and if i hit send button this will going to give an email to the person or the admin part and you can see the admin has received an email it says there is a query from sarthak and message is hi message from package and even not that you have that particular message on your database also so this is the package and there is nothing inside our web.php file like here you can see there is no contact route but that route is that contact route is coming from the package so all these things in this episode so let's go and i'm excited to give you this package and how we can do all the cool steps related to any package so let's now start creating the package for our level so let's now go to here on the terminal and here i will just get a new level project by saying level new pkg stands for package and you can see in a no time it's just downloaded and what i will do just close this terminal here and i will open that particular folder this folder with my vs code so here we have and close the welcome page and it's a simple normal new laravel application each laravel application has composer.json in it but this composer.json is for the whole project let's now check any package inside the laravel so we have this vendor folder we have this level folder inside and we have this tinker every time we used artisan tinker and here is the tinker package it's a package you can see this package includes a composer.json file so this means we also need a composer.json file to create any package for level for a composer package we need at least two things composer.json file and that service provider file so let's start our journey of creating level package so let's close all these things and i will create a new folder called package so let's say package and inside package i will create a new folder once more and this means i will create a contact package this will be a contact us page and it will do a simple thing which is just sending the email and save the contact details and the messages in the database so this package will do these things as i have told you we need at least two thing one thing is package.json file and service provider so let's open the terminal with this folder so you can see we have this terminal with this contact folder and if you don't have vs code you can go to the project folder and then open your terminal or command prompt if you are on windows directly then here we need to say composer init obviously to have this to run this command you need a composer if you don't have the composer don't worry just go to composer it's a get composer dot org website and you can download it according to your operating system you have that's good so now composer in it it will create a composer.json file in your contact folder but it will ask various questions so let's answer these first is package name and package name has to be a vendor name and then the name of the package so let's give vendor name as bitfumes and package name is contact simple thing description this will uh, send email to admin and save 
contact query in database then author name yeah it's already there bitfumes and bitfumes at gmail.com so no need to worry about this minimum stability how we can deal with this so if you don't know about this just go minimum stability on the composer first thing you will get this link go to minimum stability and there are various minimum stabilities so according to your package you are creating it you can give these flags so dev alpha beta rc and stable so it's just a development process so i will give it dev then package type it's a library type package and license standard license mit does this package need any other package so for now we don't need any package if you need any package you can just add that package here also so no for this time also and yes these things are good so i will say yes or simply y will also work and now you can see that package.json file is here this is just explaining what we have written there so it doesn't require anything minimum stability is dev author detail license library type description and name simple pretty simple things now we have said that every package need service provider so similar to tinker we have service provider inside the source folder so why not create a new folder called src and inside this i will create a new service provider so let's create a new file and file name is contact service provider dot php so let's just initialize php tag and here we need to say it's a class and the class name is contact service provider okay but this will extends which it extends level service provider so like this okay and this is good but let's give a namespace so name space will be bitfumes slash contact but how are laravel how our composer know that this is a namespace in our application so again go to tinker composer.json to have the tinker you can see this composer.json for the tinker package has this auto load psr4 thing it's just giving the uh, namespace and target folder so simple thing we need to give on our package composer.json so contact composer.json and give psr4 this is simple thing called bitfumes then contact it will target towards the source folder for this one like this source folder and each source folder has this uh, service provider each service provider must have two functions one function is boot and another function is register so let's give register okay so these two functions are required these are required yeah okay so we have tell our package that we need to load this thing let's remove this comma we need to load this namespace everything is done but how we can tell our project our laravel project that there is a package inside this because we generally download package via composer so we will also create this thing that means we will upload this package to packages.com and then we will require via composer but for now how we will tell our composer or our project that there is a package so if i go to composer.json for the project we can see we have this auto load dev because here it's already given so let's give a comma and now provide bitfumes then contact and the actual path of the package which is inside package slash contact slash source this is exact path we have to give so remove the comma at the last and now 
everything is good so let's do one thing let's open terminal for our laravel project not for the package package one start with contact but this is for the laravel project we need to say composer dump auto load this command just do one thing it says okay composer we have made some changes in the composer.json file just recognize these things so let's just hit and it says psr prefix with namespace okay so we need to say here this thing also good so let's hit and no error this means this file is absolutely correct there is no problem but how we will check that our package is working or not so let's just go to laravel documentation and in this documentation yeah we need to create a composer.json file then there is some package discovery part we will do this later but after that it says we need to create a service provider we have already created that but we can load route and to load route this is the query or the code so it says dollar this arrow load routes from and then we need to provide the directory structure and then the folder name so route slash web.php and this is not the web.php for the project we need to create another folder called routes inside our source folder and then a new file called web.php so let's initialize php tag and create a route simple route called get and it will like contact give a closer here and this will just going to return one thing a string called contact let's see how this will going to work so let's open firstly the server so php artisan serve and let's go to localhost colon 8000 so that will be 8000 and now we have created a route called contact on our package but it's not working you know why because we have tell our composer that hey composer there is a package but we have not told our project our level that there is a package because when we download any package from composer require command there's an auto loading system we don't have to tell our level but if you are an old developer of level you know that before auto load system we need to give the provider and provider we need to give on config app file so in this file we have lots of providers yeah here so similarly we need to give another provider so let's give another provider but this provider is our bitfumes slash contact slash contact service provider so it will give suggestions also yeah here it is now if i go refresh and yes you can see this contact word is here just saying that your package is working absolutely fine but because I need to create a contact page so I think we need a view how we can load a view on our package so let's search here and views yeah so we need to say yeah this one so you can see to load a view again same thing but here is a catch let's just do one thing let's go here and I will say dollar this arrow load views from and same thing directory then the path of the views so views slash and not slash simple views yeah this is good this will load the view but how we will distinguish between the view from our level project or from any package for that we need to provide another parameter here which is the package name and then whenever we are calling the view from the package we need to say package name then colon colon and view name so let's just see how things are going to work so here the package name is contact and let's create the views so again inside source folder 
create a new folder called views inside that create a file called let's say contact.blade.php simple and that should be php okay here let's create an html markup and this will be contact us page and h1 tag which will say contact us anytime and let's just see how this is going to work we need to return the view on this uh, route so let's say return view and view name is contact simple contact that's good so let's see how it's going to work but it says contact not found because when we are saying this it will just go to resources views and contact it's not found here it is going to the project not the package to go inside the package we need to say contact colon colon and contact first contact is the package name second contact is the view or blade file so this time if i go refresh yes you can see contact us anytime and this blade file is coming from directly from our package so let's just modify this thing because it's a contact form so we need a form and method will be post and because we are on level so we need csrf okay and an input field of text having the name of name placeholder is your name please then again in input type is email name is also email placeholder is your valid email then we need a text area where user can give his queries related to whatever he want and name is message and placeholder let's give a placeholder also placeholder is your query okay and last one a simple submit button value will be submit okay let's see yeah nice <laughs> yeah it's looking not nice but yeah it's good <laughs> because we have this thing so let's create an action action means a new route so that will be like this route and route name is contact simple contact route and let's create a route which will be a post request and again a contact same same url contact here contact here just the method is changed so we can do one thing we can name this one as contact only and then this will also work with the same name because both have the same contact url so this will just going to return request arrow all so we need to accept the request so request dollar request good let's see how it's going to work so yeah we have this so give something here submit it and you can see we have all these things here that's easy but uh, i don't like to have these things everything on here let's create a controller so in the source folder i will create a new folder called http inside again a new folder we need to create and that will be controllers inside that i will create a controller yeah you can create manually controller just like we have created the service provider but we can use this uh, command line interface php artisan type thing so php artisan make and make controller and controller name is contact controller but you will say sartha this will not going to create the controller on your package this will going to create on your project so here is the contact so let's move that inside this controllers folder and close these folders and let's just change this namespace so this is bitfumes slash contact slash http slash controllers and one thing more this is extending controller so we need to get this controller also and that controller is actually the controller inside app http controller controller so which is this one 
HTTP controllers and this controller. Good. So let's close all these things once more and let's create a public function called index which is just going to return view. So why not grab from here and like this. So here it is and another function public function send because we are going to send an email so let's say here okay so public spelling is incorrect public okay good so we need request and request we have to say this one then again request and all these things which is inside here so let's grab and paste it here and now we need to say we are going to call contact controller at index function same thing once more here comes also and that will be like contact controller at send method so let's see how it's going to work if i go back hmm, it says controller not found why is that because this route is not inside our project it's inside our package so we need to give a namespace so i will create a route group and route group give a name a space which is bitfumes slash contact slash http slash controllers and now give a function and move these two route inside this and this time it will surely work so let's see yes it is working and if i once more give anything else yeah it's working absolutely fine so this is good but as we have decided we need to save whatever the queries uh, user has given so this means we need a model we need a migration so let's create the model and the migration also and again we will use php artisan and we will create for the project and then move to package so create uh, make model model and model name is simple contact and also create the migration so this will going to create these things on our project not on the package so we have this users model and pack, uh, migration is here but let's create a new folder for the models so models will come here and move this contact to models folder and as usual we need to make changes in the bitfumes contact namespace we have to change so bitfume contact and models this is the namespace and it is importing this and using extending uh, whatever you can say it, it extending this one and which is here that's good no need to worry about and then for the migration again we need a new folder called database inside this we need to create again a folder uh, in a folder called migrations and inside this migration i will move that migration which is for contact okay and inside the migration we don't need to change any namespace because there is no namespace we need migration migration for saving the message which is has to be text type then it is having some email of the user who is uh, uh, querying for any contact details so this will be a string okay then we need another a string for the name so name and I think that's it name email and message simple thing you can modify it also but how we will know or how actually our package know that there is a uh, migration so I already have created a package pkg database and let's just connect this to our .emd file so I will say pkg username is root password is nothing and because we have made changes let's restart the server so we need to migrate things so to migrate we know there's a command called 
php artisan migrate but what if we run this command so let's run it it says <laughs> artisan spelling is incorrect so let's give yeah migration is run and it's just created two tables user table and password reset table which comes with laravel how we will tell our migration that there is a migration inside our package also so to tell that we need to go to our documentation and let's search for migrations and we have somewhere yeah this one we need to load migration so let's use this this command so again once more dollar this arrow load migrations from underscore underscore directory then the exact name uh, exact path actually so that, that will be database slash migrations and done this means if i now go and run php addison migrate you can see the contact table is now created here so it's super easy this means now we can use that contact table on our controller so contact model will come here auto imported from vs code then we will say create and pass dollar request arrow all and if we use create we need to give here the fillable field or we can simply say protected guarded so guarded is nothing so no need to guard any field just create this so if i now go to chrome sarthak bitfumes any query submit it yes it is not redirecting anything but if i go refresh this yeah we have entry in our table so this entry is coming from the package no elsewhere so this is super cool so let's return redirect to a route route name is contact simple thing so this means if i now go and refresh once more yes it will go back but it will create a new entry also that's not a problem that's good we have correct we have seen that how we can use this thing but we need to send an email before uh, or after submitting it so let's create let's use a mail and we need to send an email to let's say bitfumes at gmail.com because he is the uh, admin so we because every contact us details send to admin then we need to send a new mailable so mailable will be contact mail label but we don't have that so let's just create so comment this out copy this one and as usual we will use this command php artisan make then mail label uh, make mail only and mail name is contact mail but along with this we need markdown system so hyphen hyphen markdown and markdown will be contact dot email so it's created and mail is created inside app mail so why not move this to our source folder of the package so move this to source folder so which is here so let's change the namespace bitfumes slash contact and slash mail also then after we need to move our markdowns so which is inside resources views and it's not showing here refresh my vs code and after that on our views folder yeah we have this so let's move this inside our packages views folder so after moving this we can now see we have this email here and let's now do one thing whenever we are calling this mailable here we are calling this contact mailable so firstly we need to import this at the top because we have recently created it we have to send the message so request arrow uh, message okay so let's accept this here on the mailable on this mailable i will say public dollar message is here and same initialize on constructor dollar this arrow message is equal to message and we need to pass this so with 
and that should be with ah. <laughs> okay with the message as dollar message and let's close these things here so this means now we can use that message part here so the body will be the exact message okay so this is good and uh, let's say there is a message from there is new query from we need to grab the name of the person also so request arrow name okay so let's grab that also on the mailable so again name same copy from here paste it here same thing and name and on the width part let's pass once more name as name good so on this markdown mailable there's a new query from dollar name and the message is message is this good so we need to send this but we need to send this so we have to grab the mail trap account details so let's go to chrome open mail trap.io and grab its details username is this okay lots of spaces then comes password which is this and encryption is tls so we have made changes in our .env file restart the server and actually we have not started because i have refreshed my vs code that's why so we have this and now let's try to send this email so if i go here refresh this sarthak bit fumes a new message from from package and obviously our database is empty submit it and it says bitfumes contact control http controllers mail not found the problem is mail not found not mailable so we have to import this mail also so mail and which is good so refresh this once more and now it says undefined variable message so we need to actually say on our mailable this dot this arrow message and same thing for name and this dollar this arrow name so why not move something like this so that it will be more readable like this and we can use compact method also okay i think this will work <laughs> contact dot email not found why is that because on our mailable we need to now say search on the contact package about the contact dot email because contact dot email there is no uh, blade file on our project but there is a blade file on our package so we need to say contact colon colon contact dot email let's once la last time <laughs> so it's doing something that means there is something here and maybe we have ah yeah because we are first sending email and then we are saving to the database so we have one entry here and we have email here a new query from sarthak then message is this i think we need to give a br tag here so that there will be no inline statement so where is that yeah here it is so let's give a br tag here and that will work surely so this is good and we have done lots of things but you know the problem is here let's go to contact controller here we are hard coding the email too if we are creating a package this means user can send it to his email not to my email so how we can make this a generic thing so that it will be a dynamic everyone can use why not create a configuration file for this so again go to documentation and here we need to say config 
and there is configuration yeah this one resources the configuration we need to say so let's use this merge config from okay so on this service provider again we will say merge config from we will go and create a config folder and on that we will create a contact.php file and again we need to give the contact it means the package name just like we are giving on view so let's create this config folder so inside this source a folder called config inside that a new file called contact.php which is just going to return an array of send email to actually that should be like send email to and then we will provide the name so it will be bitfumes at gmail.com okay so this is good but how we can grab this information on our uh, controller so it's super easy you need to say config then we need to say contact the package name and then the uh, option we are giving send email to so contact dot send email to so let's just verify this by just saying sarthak at anything and then submit it yes it is submitting so i think we have closed the mail trap open that and we have a new email from uh, you can see it says to bitfumes at gmail.com and actually the user has given this user uh, email is this and we have given this email to this uh, bitfumes at gmail.com but what if user need to configure again this is not even configurable we just moved that email from there to this file so now we can create a vendor publish thing we can publish this config file to any project where this package is going to used so to publish this we need to use this command simple publish and where we need to publish we need to publish to config slash contact.php and the final output file will be contact.php but how we will publish <laughs> again you need to use php artisan command so php artisan vendor colon publish this will give you list of the things which can be published for this particular project and whatever the package you have installed so we have this you can see bitfumes contact contact service provider and we need to say one so if i say one hit enter it says copied file from this to this okay let's see this means we must have a contact.php here so contact.php which is here which is exactly the same thing we have given because it is copied so why not change it to instead of bitfumes i will say abcd at gmail.com so you can see i am changing on user end that means on the config contact.php not inside this package i'm not touching the package i'm just changing the uh, option here so let's go and try one more time so sarthak sarthak anything submit it yes it is doing something sending an email so on the database yeah we have new entry but if i check this you can see it says abcd at gmail.com we have not touched our package and without touching the package we have changed the configuration and in that way you can publish anything you can take anything from the developer who is using your package okay so this is the cool part of having or creating a laravel package and the next part we will use is moving this package to our packagist.org website so if i now go to chrome open packagist and search for it packagist.org file okay so we have this and all the packages you download via composer come from here so how you can make things 
related to your package how you can make your package to run via composer required via composer firstly you need to sign in so you can sign in via github so i will use github credentials so use github to sign in and it's directly signed in here so how we can submit so to submit we need a github repository so let's go to github.com slash bitfumes and create a new repository new repository name is contact package simple and description we can grab the description from our config uh, composer.json file for our package so we have written this here paste it and create a repository and now we need to use git init and again we are going to use git init on contact folder only not on the whole project so again open terminal with contact and i will say git init it initialize empty repository empty git repository and that's why you can see now color is changed and it says unstaged untracked even then we need to create a readme.md file so that our user who is using this package or the developer who is using this package have some knowledge of what this package is going to do okay so for now i'm just going to give another name and this will be contact us form package and then the details we have given here it lost here maybe i can again copy from here and this will send all these things okay so this is good but now we have to say git status it says readme composer and source folder untracked so let's say git add commit and message on the same command and provide initial commit commit okay then we need to provide this remote repository here that's okay and then use push command to push this to our github repository which is just going to do in just a few seconds okay and yes it is done okay so let's refresh here and yeah we can see we have this package here but how we will submit this so let's just copy this url which is this one paste it here and let's say check what it will do we will see in a just few seconds it says one or more similar name package already have been submitted to packages i think we need to ignore this error message and let's submit this so it is submitting here and it is now submitted and we can now require our package by using this uh, composer require bitfumes contact but it says uh, the package is not auto updated this means if i update something here that will not update here inside our packages how we can do that we need to give a github service hook so we need to go to profile and packages and which is here and now show api token so copy this token and go to the package go to the setting of the package and now integration and services add services and search for packages and give the user which is bitfumes then token we have just copied and you can escape domain okay so this will run the service when an event is triggered that means whenever we commit there is a change on the package and that will reflect on packages so add service and you can see it is added and it's not green here we need to click here on the packages and let's hit test service and it says test is on its way and let's let's go back it's refresh and yes we have now the tick this means this is actually done and if i refresh and that message is gone from here and now whenever we update here whenever we change anything on our contact package this will reflect on our packages also 
this is good but let's now require package by composer so we need another uh, laravel project so i will call terminal and create a laravel new test uh, package test pkg and again it will download the package in just again it will download the project in just few seconds which is done here so close this terminal and open this again with vs code so this is the new laravel project we have just installed and inside this i'm going to say composer require bitfume slash contact so while it's installing let's now go and stop the server for our project where we have created the package and now let's see how it's going to look it will just taking some time and now you can see the package is successfully installed in our project so let's now start the server php artisan serve and it says artisan serve so server is started here so this means if i now go to slash contact ah, simple contact it's not doing anything that is because our package is not auto discovery so this means again we need to go to config app folder inside this new project and we need to register for our bitfumes slash contact slash contact service provider and now if i go chrome refresh yes it is working so next task is to make this package as a auto discovery package so now i will go to the project where we have created the package so let's now again go to documentation and to make auto discovery package we need to give this part in our composer.json file so we have this composer.json file and inside this let's provide these things so i'm not going to give any alias so just the provider which is bitfumes and contact and contact service provider so this is simple thing and we have done this so now we need to update our package on our github which will automatically update the package on our packagist.org website so that whenever we download or whenever any developer download our package it will get the latest version so let's now push this changes to our github repository so if i say git s and i think i need to go to my contact for the terminal and now if i say git s status there is a change in composer.json file but before committing i want to give a tag tag of version 1.0.0 simple so now hit enter and then after this we need to commit add commit and with a message and we will say uh, added auto discovery discovery uh, okay simple then hit enter and yes it is done but this time we need to git and then push <laughs> we need to push but along with the tag so if i give this it will just push to github with the tag so let's see what will be the result so it's now pushing to github and yes you can see it says new tag 1.0.0 so let's go to chrome on the repository hit refresh and tag 1.0.0 that's great i think this is cool so we have this release of 1.0.0 we have given the tag so this is good this means now we can update this so let's now go here go to the package where we have installed the package and we have to go to that project where we have installed the package so here open the terminal and let's break the server and i will say composer update this will update the repository we have or the packages we are having here it's not updating here so let's do one thing 
I will remove that package. So I have required this, I will remove this. So it will remove that package from this project. And now you can see it is removed and let's again require that. So required Bitfume. So you can see it's removed dev master and let's see which version it will include this time. And yes, this time it includes version 1.0.0. This means if I say php artisan serve command, go to here, refresh this. Okay, again, it's not doing that. To check that, let's go to vendor, Bitfumes, composer.json and still we don't have that extra part we have here on our package when we have updated that why it's not included here let's just say git status and it says it is clean that means it is it is updated so on the repository let's see the composer.json file okay here it is not updated hmm that's not updated there so if i say git push okay it pushed something to master so refresh and yeah now it is updated so now composer.json has this thing run another tag here so here let's give another tag so git tag version 1.0.1 and then git push for tag and it is going to push and it is pushed so let's go to packages refresh this and still having version 1.0.0 it take little time yeah it is updated here so this means if i now go here try to update ah, nothing to update so let's see why this is not updated so open composer.json and here it is not updated because the version is 1.0 only so 1.0.1 we need and let's now composer update do the composer update part and yes you can see it is now updated this means if I now go to my Bitfumes and contact Composer, yeah, we have this extra, we have this autoload property and it says autoload discovery for Bitfume contact is done here. Means if I now go refresh this page, okay, we need to start the server. Okay, so let's start the server and refresh contact is here so this is the way we can create package we can upload that to packagist.com.org website but one thing more i want to give to this package which is like if i search for any package like let's say http guzzle i search and here i will go to github repository of this package and you can see in this readme file we have these kind of things downloads build releases all these things so why not have these things on our package uh, github repository we don't have that here so how we can deal with this it's a readme file so this means we have to go to readme file of this package let's see the raw version and it says we have these three things which is these three things and it is because of this shields.io what this website is let's go to this website and it says it will give you the shields these kind of shields so to get the shields we need to give the project url so let's give the project url which is this one paste it here and let's say suggest batches so it will just suggest batches according to our package so these are the batches it has suggested so issues are zero folks zero star zero license is missing i have given the license why it says license is missing build one download version we can have various things here so let's grab this issue part so copy this one open vs code for the package where we have created the package and on this readme file i will give the batch so first batch is this one but it's not the simple thing you can see on this guzzle raw readme we have this kind of things so let's just copy any one and paste it here and inside this latest 
version but it's not the version it's issue so issues so issues and have this file and paste it here and you can see it says style is flat square so there are various styles here also so you can use styles you can use dashes color various things are here you can make your own uh, badges and style it that's good so similarly we can use let's use stars so stars and this will be guzzle guzzle releases but this will not be guzzle guzzle releases we will make it later but issues then stars starts not starts it is stars so this one will like this and again this is the flat one flat square let's first grab the issues part so issues will go here so copy this url go to vs code and on the issues part paste this url and maybe same thing will for a star we can get the stars detail i think that will be storage so that will be like this and this is enough to show you how you how the things going to work so git status this is good and git add commit and message giving a star uh, badges simple badges so git push and let's see the result and it is updated on the github repository so refresh this go to package and here you can see we have two badges here now let's do one more thing which is remaining here so if i go to this contact form it is so ugly to see but we want to give the user an ability to have its own view this is not the view anyone can going to use and obviously the view has to be related to other pages and that will be in sync with the contact page also so we can publish our views just like we are publishing our config file so let's see how we can publish this let's now go to views and here just below here we can see we have we are loading the view and we can publish the view just like we are publishing the config file so go to our source and contact service provider and here we are publishing this so why not move this line from here to this which is for publishing anything you want so we are going to publish whatever inside our views folder to views vendor and it's not a courier it's contact and what this will going to do whenever we are loading the view for any package first thing laravel will do laravel search for resources views and vendor and the package name and if he doesn't found that any file here inside the view then he will go for the folder you have described here so this means if i now publish so let's publish so php artisan vendor publish and yes the first one so it will publish our package views because we have already published the config file so that's why it's only publishing the views and that published view is inside resources views and again i need to restart the vs code so which is restarted and now you can see view vendor contact and we have this contact email and contact dot blade so if i change this so let's just see what will be the result if i now go refresh this page okay i need to restart the server and refresh yes we have this contact us anytime so if i say here let's close this contact us anytime from level project so save this file go refresh and it says from level project and this means now our package is using this view instead of the view which we have described in our package so in that way we are giving the ability to have 
any view inside this package and user can change its look but functionality will be inside our package so we have done quite a good things and this is the way you can have your package on the github repository on packages and styling the package readme file and creating the package all these things in just 60 minutes everything is done here if you have liked this episode please go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to share this video with the other developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of how we create the package for laravel so we will meet in some other videos or other tutorial till then goodbye and bye bye